Hey. hey. Here Hi. we are. Hi. Dragon fight! Alright, it's the dragon's turn. I was nearly not excited until I remember that I get to dragon some people. <laughs> so Only one person. General runs up with his uh, deft speed for a halfling. Uh, starting to slash and and, and uh, use all sort of manner of spellcraft on, on the dragon, making him reel back a little bit. And the dragon is a little more confident in the battle now, even though he's starting to really show significant signs of, of damage. Um, uh, first of all, he's going to actually use the legendary action to make a tail attack at you. Because he's just a big old douche. What's your AC? I think it's 17? Uh, mine? Yeah. No, no, it's it's much better than... Did I not use my ability? Oh, I totally... You didn't this turn. I totally would have, because I do it consistently. Can I press the button? Press the, I would have. It's a yes. consistent thing. Yes! And obviously it would have been the, the lower one. The uh, Masters oh, 2. So, my AC is a 21, sir. Fuck. It is so much higher. 21. Still hits. Yeah, it makes sense. Um, Does it, though? Because, like... Because, yeah. like... I'm waiting for it. I'm doing I'm doing it. We're, we're, all, we're no no we're all waiting for it. It's just roll twenty is broken. Are you not are you not gonna do it? Looks there like you're go. gonna have to take this damage. No, it's one of the things where you <laughs> the tail swings and you've even got yourself in a bit more of a defensive position. When you're aware it's still gonna hit you, you're like ha <laughs> and you go <laughs> and manages to uh, you manage to resist it. Low at magic. Jakaris uh, sort of rolls himself around a little bit, placing himself on the ground, just sort of shakes his head. Like, you tire me. Living creatures tire me. And That's Wells, funny, I didn't know the undead felt exhaustion. Wells, the back of his <laughs> throat up, rears back, and both of you give me constitution saves. Do I have to? Yes. <laughs> Is this just a, a, fl a dragon breath, or the, is it a breath? Just a dragon breath. Well, it's, no, it's because I've got necklace of adaptation, which is advantage on saving throws. <gasps> oh yes. Gases oh made. yeah, that you would have had that against a paralyzing breath. This is dragon breath. Yeah, of course, of course, it targets me for dragon breath, and not for what I would get advantage on. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. I didn't even think about that. That that halfling luck working again. <laughs> so you both fail. <laughs> that, that's that's fine. It's not a natty one. <laughs> and you both take sixty-eight cold damage. Ow. I die. Oh, wow. I, I literally die. You pass out. <laughs> no, I, I I die. For massive damage. I mean, I, I was at twenty-two, so that brings me to you were at negative nine. No, I'm I'm at twenty-two. You didn't so update your me... character properly. Oh, and they die. I roll off of, and the other one's delayed, so I die. Wait, what are the rules for massive damage on 5e? But I'm pretty sure because I'm at negative half my in all one. No, right? that's not how that's it works. Negative in... full. Yeah, that's not how it works here. It's negative full damage. damage. It's negative yeah. full damage in one hit. So it's negative. So it's 60. What? What's your? What is Eight? your health? Yeah. I know it's you, hard to you'd get. need to take a bunch more. That's why I thought it really weird you would say that because that's not you're not even. I'm close. at negative forty six. Right. Yeah. What's your max HP? Eighty five. Yeah, you're you're great. Okay, so you're fine. You just go to zero. Uh, yeah. That makes then how could you ever die? You don't because it's, it's a terrible that. thing. Why would you ever want that as a player? I no, don't even rule it half the time. It just seems like a silly mechanic to have because it only affects low level it, characters. It makes sense for characters like one through seven. Yeah, I I don't like it as a concept anyway, so I would have probably would have said no. You're not. Actually it's basically dead. only going to occur when you're fighting something that you shouldn't be fighting. Yeah, uh. which is kind of fair. Uh, uh, okay, so you fall down. Great, I like that. Devi, give me a Constitution save. Yep. Come on, Devi. I have to roll higher than a 17, by the way, because I rolled a 17 last time. Yep. That's a no. <laughs> Mikael, your turn. <laughs> it could be, the save could be getting easier every turn, you don't know. It could be, I don't think it's true. Probably not, no, but... <laughs> <laughs> so 
Sorry, I'm moving in slowly, but it's taking forever. Mm -hmm. <sighs> but I've done more than three now. What was so that? Really instantly kill me. Which is um, that apple sounded horrible. <laughs> That's a bad apple. You should put it back. <laughs> is there a light coming off of her sh her sword that I can so I can see yes. further? I c I can't see that. Her light is coming off of her sword. You might need to re reroll reload roll twenty. Oh. I'll, I'll oh, actually, it. no. Or never mind. Should I not? No, yeah. I don't reroll. There you go. I forget because I'm seeing the like chat camera. Okay, if, if that's actually the case, I wouldn't have gone so far. I would have gone one, two, three, and I will now. Boom. So now light's coming off of me too. And then I'm going to call out at the dragon and say, I killed you once, I'll do it again. The light of Pyth Compels will you. De deem you, or not deem you. What's the word I'm looking for? Burns you? No. <laughs> eh, it's gone. The light of Pyth will do something to you. <laughs> It'll do something. <laughs> You're not... Mikhail's not that Condemn tricky. you. Condemn you. Thank there you. There we go. Pop my head. Uh, and that is my turn because I cast a sp Actually, no. You know what? I'm going to spend two. No, I shouldn't do that. That's that's my turn. I'm not going to do that. That's a bad idea. <laughs> that's yeah. a bad idea. <laughs> no. Next up is Riel, who after sort of taking the brunt of the 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 ice breath has not fallen somehow um so i am prone so i get up movement of three um no way i'm getting near him i am going to at least give myself maybe i can survive an extra turn if i give myself an extra 14 health possibly um and then I'm just settling in behind my shield to get killed next turn. All right, General, give me a death roll. Oh. Not a one. Uh, wait, can he even roll a one? I believe oh. a 20 he automatically stabilizes you, so, you know, don't worry about it. 20 counts as two successes. Yeah, it oh. has two successes. I've, I've been playing with people who have said many different things, and mm. I come to Ra check the book. Ra myself, is uh, two successes, just like once, two failures. See, that's what I thought. Someone I was playing yeah. with said it was automatically stabilizing, and I was like, eh. Um, but that makes more sense. Just like, just it's like, close. even, even yeah, when you close. succeed, it's, it just means you're stable. It doesn't even mean that you wake up. Oh, for so sure. People think yeah, you yeah. wake up. Uh, that's why I wasn't like, I was crazy. Um, you're supposed to wake up in like 1d4 hours. Yeah, yes. 1d4 hours. Crazy. I know we homebrew that you can do like a medicine check to make it faster, but that's not actually. Well, that's more a situational thing. Yeah. yeah. So... You get hit. Jukaris just slowly lumbers up to Riel and snaps at her with his mighty jaws for 20 piercing damage. 17 piercing damage. Um... <laughs> So salty when you say it that way. Yeah, so sassy. I'm gonna damn survive for everything I'm worth. Um, that puts me on. And then it's going to attack again, which will be a miss. And then it's going to attack you again, which will also be a miss. I didn't even oh. need that cure wounds. It did I mean, help. It did help. Next up is Devi. Could be a constitution yep. save. Mikhail. <laughs> wow. I love these fights wow. where our players just <laughs> stay as affected the whole time. Okay, really so happy. he is now within 10 feet of me, yeah? Oh, it's 10 feet. So first off, he takes a d10. Whopping. I'm gonna leave that. Absolutely whopping. Um, now I am going to use my action to make a line of fire that extends 15 feet to him or through him, really. But are you it's not gonna hurt anyone wall, else. You're doing a wall of fire. 
No, it's um oh, my the actual thing. yeah. My spell, I can now harness the flames around me and throw it at him as my action. Mm -hmm. So I do that, Dance and because there. I cast. Yep, yep, because I cast a spell with him ten feet, within ten feet of me, he will take eight fire damage automatically. Yep. What's your spell save DC? Uh, eighteen. Uh, it fails. So you just start throwing fire, burning, explosions of fire. It's there's a lot of fire happening to this ice dragon. Yep. So it takes twenty four damage of that, and then I'm going to. Use a um, bonus action. Spend two sorcery points. You're gonna balance. To oh. drop. Oh. A fireball. Actually, scorching ray, level four. A little safer. <laughs> a little bit safer. Actually. I was about to say. <laughs> no, well, fireball. You'd automatically succeed if I choose. No, if I drop. No, scorching ray, level four. So that's five rays. All right. Yep. 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 Yeah. Oh wait, I would have advantage on all these, yeah? No, fairy fire has worn off. Oh, fairy fire dropped. You're right. You're General right. is is. Oh, one miss. Blood pile on the ground. Yeah, one one miss. Yay. Hmm. Just tell me the damage after. I'll tell you the damage at the end. It's a decent amount. It is a decent amount. Actually, rolling not bad this time. Yeah, I yeah. know. Any ones there? No. Not no. as good as RB Scorching Ray damage. Uh, no right, ones. Right, right. Someone that Hold on. no one's ever seen. It's a little weird to speak of yourself in the third person. Yeah, that's also <laughs> that's um, also true. Because yeah, that you never isn't... got to play with Arvine, Scott. You'd have loved her. Um, I, I'm playing with Arvine right now. Yeah, Why are you being weird? Yeah. So, an extra eight, so it's 20, 29, uh, 37. Uh, did you already count the original damage from the original attack? Yes. Uh, 44 more damage, fire damage. Uh... To say this uh, simply, he's not happy with that. His scorching rays they blow large chunks of 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 like his rib cage off. The scales that were that were still remaining were exploded off again. Just horrible, horrifying injuries to this thing. Or if it wasn't undead, it would no way be able to still move. Mm. Uh, and I say to it feel like the last time or does it feel worse this time as you see just like more and more fire building around me with a rule feels like the first time feels like with a roar he's going to uh beat his wings both of you give me a deck save oh don't do that mikhail unfortunately fails whoa whoa hold on i haven't even rolled no yet. i mean uh general oh. yep I take mikhail a also fails you are both knocked prone, and you take a... I get knocked prone, I assume. Scare... Yeah, knocked um, prone. I and have you... to make a con check to make sure I hold my... <laughs> mm -hmm. Sorry, my internet's cutting out a little bit for you guys. Uh, you take 11 damage, uh, the two of you. Okay, so and, I succeed. Uh, then he ta takes off immediately uh, 20 feet up in the, in the air. Attack of opportunity. No attacks of opportunity. Oh, Stop Mikhail's this. not in attacking range? Also, you, you am... don't attack of opportunity a flying dragon when they're I was just knocked away. prone. Remember his, uh, remember his ability? With if the, the prone, legendary action? That. Oh, I thought you were saved because I saw a really high save from you. Sorry. No, but that's That was con, not dex. My apologies. Right. Uh, Riel. Did you say he's 20 feet in the air? Yeah, 20 feet in the air. Bastard. I cannot do shit about this. Um, you can die. I can die. Um, I can sing. Wait, what was the damage? Um, it doesn't matter so, how much damage you took. You still, it's still for you. It's just a point of death, isn't it? Right. So your current. So Mikael hits people with fire when they get into range of him. Mm -hmm. Can I? Can, if as Mikael is prone, can he be like on one knee or something? Or yeah, on his yeah, knees? yeah, I, yeah. Can I shout across? Give me a 
throw, give me a leg up, throw me up sort of thing to try and jump high enough to stab it. Oh, I was going to think you were going to do something else. I mean, if he's willing. No, I'm not going to throw him at the That's dragon. what I thought you were going to try and do. You, and he's a small be dude. Doing that. Let's do I, that for I, a second. How, 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 tall, how tall are you, Ariel? 5'10". So with your sword, like, ah, yeah. you know what I mean? Like you're imagining, like, yeah. you know, I, I want, let's say I want 10 to feet. Basically help my jump. So you need a 10 foot lift off of the ground yeah, to be able to get the dragon at the tip of a 10. I think you're yeah. better off trying to throw Mikael at him. I think I am better Because he has a damage him. aura right now. <laughs> That's not that's not even a joke. Literally he has a damage aura that's out of the range. Yeah, so but, not fastball special, is this fireball special? Hey. <laughs> but the problem is I'm I'm gonna be almost dead if I touch him. No. I choose if you get hurt. Oh really? Oh okay. In it's kinda case, hard to tell. I, but, yeah. I, I have literally no range attack, so I will get I will literally attempt to throw Mikael at the dragon. Give me a athletics check. Uh... Oh god. Oh, that was so close to a 16. Do you still have the uh, inspiration? Did you use it? No, I used that. He used it. Mm. So he comes up and grabs me to throw Oh, me. no. Even with... <sighs> Feels like... So, Riel. With the ice breath, with the all the damage dealt to you. You run over to Mikael. You see that Drakaris is also looking incredibly injured. You maybe share a look. It's like, this this has to happen. <laughs> Grab him by the, the, the scruff of the collar and hurl him as he launches up. You don't even get the proper, proper range. You're not going to actually throw him into the dragon's stomach. But the aura of fire around him... He's a, he's a traveling firework of pain, but as he just casts under Drakaris, that fire melts and burns at Drakaris' his, his necrotic insides, and as he's trying to take off, you hear things snap and break, and Drakaris plummets to the ground a few moments after Mikhail does. <laughs> on top of anybody? Not on top of you. There's definitely like a, a shockwave. You probably tumble a bit. Um, but Killed yeah, because of the because of the the damage aura on your thing, Mikael, it would have killed him no matter what. Yeah, that's why it ran away. It was like oh, I can't touch this guy. That's so good. I am so <laughs> I happy with that. I finally got to do something cool. <laughs> it it has I was say, as I land and do like that whole like tumble roll full of fire, I look up and I see the thing falling. And then I'll, I'll look down at um, General, and I'll, I'll look up again at um, uh, Riel and yeah. say, what about General? And then the dragon falls right in front of General. <laughs> See, I, yeah, I, I quickly come back from my moment of, of, oh my god, we just killed a dragon. Triumph. Um, and I am going again. to use again. A, Cure wounds. Stay dead just... this time. Oh, he, no, he's wait. He's already stable, isn't he? He's already stable. No. You can still cure oh, wounds yeah. him. Yeah, oh, he just did another death save, even though like we're in roleplay. But yeah, I might as well. Well, technically, my turn is technically it was one of his turns so next. So... It was it was seconds past. You know? Yeah, yeah. I I allow it. Alive. It's one of those things oh, yeah. Scott sometimes Back does here. as a Scottism, and I'm just like, um, it's easy to just let him do it. His okay. turn ended. Ergo, I oh, need to I know, roll. but. It's like I'm doing anything on my turn. Has <laughs> Debbie recovered from the whatever it is? <laughs> it takes the better half of a minute for her to regain any motion. Because I was just going to say, I don't know if it's technically a spell, but... I can I can fix her. If, if that's the thing. But but in-game, so you reach down and touch me to, to bring me to, like, with uh, Cure Wounds and I'm like... Yeah. <sighs> Ugh. And I so immediately, like, once I see you and I see how battered because you're fucked up, and I like quickly look around, like, where's the fight? Like, you you're wasting time to to pull me. And then when I see like the 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 corpse, like, limp and probably smelling like charred rot. Yeah, you know? and there's no magic anymore in it. <laughs> yeah, and I see Mikhail, you know, probably going about and looking at that thing or heading over to what's her name. I'll, I'll pull myself up and be like, you know, with your hand, be like, what what happened? We 
Mikael managed to again good spells, yes. <sighs> oh, Mikael. And I'll say a little louder, Mikael, the Draco Flagation. <laughs> oh, there will be stories about you, friend. <laughs> stories about you. Thank you. And then I'll look over to see where Devi is and realize, because I haven't noticed her this entire fight because yeah. I just assumed she was sneaking around. So I'm going to look she's around to make sure that she's okay because I don't know how much time has passed. It's been 20 minutes. And when I see she's still kind of like frozen in the corner, I'll hobble my way over to her quickly and cast the spell for you. Yeah, less restoration definitely works. Cleansing Touch was going to be one of those ones like, I'm going to allow it to work, but it would take a little while. Because the logic works, but the spell doesn't. Whereas Lesser Restoration literally just, it fixes yeah. it. It's what it does. Right. Um, so yeah, with that, uh, you regain feeling and motion in your body after being almost <laughs> locked out of it for, for a little bit, which is kind of traumatic. Excellent. I will kind of like strain myself and kind of get my bearings hmm. in a few minutes to do that. I don't say anything in general. <laughs> I, I, Why would you? I give like a like a like a nod, like you like a look, like you okay? Uh, I'll return the nod. Okay, and and without saying anything, because there's no need to, I'm gonna go hobble back into the room and and find a wall to slump against. Yeah. <laughs> I spend the next uh, durate the the following say nine minutes or so, the duration of my spell, just yeah. using the fire that's emanating off me and cantrips to just burn and burn, burn the dragon. This dragon just but you blow. need parts for components no no my what? sorcerer is like com no burns just, just it away to nothing keeps burning it to nothing yeah literally just bone and then i'm gonna do a whole bunch of healing you're gonna short rest? I, I, I'm, rest I'm assuming we're short resting yeah well i am not a comp going up I, there with 16 hit points i would I have... make the suggestion if we need to rest, we can go back to the other room and lock ourselves in and barricade ourselves there. That is an excellent suggestion. Mm. Yeah, I mean... That, it's more that, defensible than this. There's no reason not to. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I agree with it as well. We'll do that. Guys, don't forget to add the five health points from my Song of Rest ability. Yep. And I'm so glad to have all my Bardic Inspiration and Warlock slots back. Woohoo! Because I'm, I'm low on spells. Like, like low. Like, you regain inspiration on a short rest? Yeah. Huh. At high levels? Absolutely. I didn't know that. Hmm. This is going to take a while. This is the most exciting thing that could be happening right now. Why don't, why don't Ollie, why don't you sing to entertain us in the meanwhile? You're the one doing Song of Rest, not me. Uh, Ollie, Ooh, if you could just do that, true. that'd be wonderful. Thanks. Because I, I have two classes, I have to click multiple buttons to make it actually roll. Did I do two ones in a row? I did. I, I did two ones in a row, too. Good job, champs. I'm down to three hit dice, but that doesn't really matter, does it? Oh, jeez, I did three once. <sighs> okay, so I'm down to wow. ten. Oh! What is that, Aaron? <laughs> what are you doing? I That's did fine. another fucking one? <laughs> you, look at I these greens and reds I just all four. over. <laughs> I rolled four um, eights in a row. Yeah, you had four eights in a row. Yeah. Jeez. Another one? <sighs> yeah. You keep doing that. We're going to be... Dead boys. <laughs> That's who we're gonna be. Dead boys. I haven't rolled a single eight yet. I don't think I rolled a single eight in my 16 hit die. Another one! I need to take care of that. I don't have that spell anymore. Yeah, I'm not even back up to full hit points. <laughs> hmm. Damn. This is gonna be tough, guys. It's gonna be real tough. I don't think I'm back up to full health points either. Just right. barely. Not. One, two, three, four, five, six, one second, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 
14, 15. Yep, 16 rolls. It's all 16 rolls. And I added the five for that. Are there anybody else offer any other abilities that increase healing or anything like that whatsoever? No? Nah. Okay. God, then, how many spell slots you got left, Arvine? Oh, wait I a second. <laughs> If the target dies, you heal equal to, do I have to maintain concentration? No, I don't. <gasps> when the dragon died, my Hexblade curse, I also healed one plus, uh, I healed eight more. Yes. It's all right. I'm, I'm too shy of max health. Woohoo! Lucky you, I'm like 30 odd. So, uh, Mikhail's gonna go up to um, General and say, well, if you're telling songs, about me destroying dragons, be sure to include our paladin friend over there. I couldn't do it alone. There and I look all... at, then before you talk, I'd, I'd feel like a finger up and I'd look at Devi, but I could have done it without her. <laughs> hey. I, 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 as, as much as I, Scott, want to say things, I will, <laughs> my no. character has no reason to chime in at that point. And so I will say, like with that, cause I assume I'm, I'm sitting and you're standing yeah. with like a, a friendly pat on like the calf. I'd be like, uh, believe you me, there have been many and there will be many more songs about her. However, there are more than one hero that fought this day and we will all have our own tales that that speak of our bravery, our courage, our triumphs, and our failures. He smiles at that. Let's just then, forget about the first half where I couldn't move. He smiles back at Debbie. I, I'll actually... I, I'll return that like smiling genuinely. Yeah. I'll actually look at you and say, you couldn't. No. I, I was so engrossed in the combat, I, I honestly it, wasn't... It was just you two fighting that thing. We were literally staring basically at each other, not fighting. It was it was lit with the magical flames, and and we were so engrossed in its, its sheer mass, my back was off into the door. I just assumed you were hurling spells from afar like you often do, and she was slipping through the shadows. Taking I, your attention I wish that were the case. from such a fearsome throw is, tan throw is tantamount to suicide. We couldn't have done anything to help them anyway. Yeah. By no means. Well, either way, I, if I suppose, Riel, I suppose you're right. Had we did, had we, had I broken off to lend aid or, or you to do the same, then the other would have been stranded alone. There's little anything else we could have done at that point. Your, your fighting was smart. I'm just glad that Mikael was able to recover when he did. Without that, I fear what would have happened there. I'm glad we were all able to recover. You sure it's gone? I look at like just the bones sitting there. It's I'm like sure a pile like of ash happy. with some bones. Yeah. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take some of that ash. Yeah. Oh, improvised weapon. <laughs> that ash can, ah! can be made into an ink. Mm. Dragon ink yeah. to write our stories. I like it. Draco blobs. Draco blobs. I'm actually gonna turn into mascara. Yeah! <laughs> Dragon Sorcerer! Sorceress. Alright, uh, what do you want to do now after you spend- You spend the hour bandaging up your wounds, praying, eating, because you probably haven't eaten all day, uh, in- in the relative silence. Yeah, up here, high, this high in the tower, even though there are the open, uh, faces in the dragon- in, in that second dragon chamber, you don't hear battling down below. You do occasionally hear just the buffeting of wind against the tower walls if you're up against one of the outer walls. Or the general just sort of creaking that a building this large has. Because there's small amounts of sway and whatnot, even though it is almost all this supernatural sort of granite stone. Uh, it is eerily quiet, but with some song you can surpass that. Mm. And uh, what's the plan once you're all I in fighting shape? I would, I would say that uh, I would say, well, General, fighting alongside you has been amazing. And we've kind of just kind of done our own things and it's and it's worked really well. We've had this synergy that I don't quite understand why. Perhaps that's why we were chosen to do this job. But I fear going into the next portion of this without at least some type of plan might be a terrible idea. I nod and respond saying a plan would be wonderful but we would have to see what it is that we're planning for or now, against 
I agree, but we could at least come up with some plan if we have Tactics. A, B, or C. Yes. If we have just the Lich in his, ju and it's just him, s spreading out and attacking makes perfect sense. Assume this. All magics don't work. What's the plan? Uh, ah. Right off the bat, then pincer tactic between Riel and myself will will be a, a first and foremost surefire to keep its attention split between us with with Devi doing what she does best. Uh, and then you, of course, lending aid in the ways that you can. Perhaps not a direct fire, perhaps other ways to manipulate the area that it cannot automatically resist. Okay, maybe magics do work, but to a lesser degree. All right, that opens more areas, but then we should still stick to a similar tactic, right? Mm. Um, my concern. I am. I'm a brave man. I've I've faced down many foes. I faced down uh, wars, and and I I do not lose my nerve. However, encountering that that dragon, I haven't lost my nerve either. But I've been on the cusp. On, multiple times and that dragon serves this lord it it concerns me that they will steal our our nerve and and so our our hearts and, and we will be powerless to it how can we cloud our minds or or keep them focused whatever it is we need to do to to resist this fear if it would depend on the manner of how it inflicts this. If we are talking about something that will only likely affect us once, if you stay close to me, the blessings of Pyth will be upon you. You will not lose hope. You will not lose your courage. But you obviously have to be within within my vicinity for this for that to take effect. A conduit so of faith. We had, once we had split up it would no longer be a viable option for you all. Hmm. But at least going into the chamber, and when we first encounter the abomination, I suggest we stay close together in case the, the mere pressure he gives off is sufficient to frighten us. I agree with that. And unlike a dragon, I don't think we have to worry as much as of spread out attacks. I think he's going to try to pick us off one by one. And so, Mikkel, because he is a very powerful wizard, I don't think you have to worry about all magics not working. However, I do think you have to be concerned about individual spells being affected. Mm. I would suggest trying to bait him out with your lesser magic first. Mm. You are a conduit of faith that allows you to resist these fears when some are close. I do have an old story, uh, a quick hymn that is known to bolden the hearts of those that hear it. Perhaps I can toss this, uh, this enchantment on the three of us so that we can be bolden as well when uh, when we're facing uh, facing this creature. Um, I'll, I'll do it on the three of us as it draws too much power to do that. But at the same time, I can place upon you, uh, Devi, uh, an enchantment that makes it so nothing, no matter what. No, no binds, no uh, anything can slow you down or, or hold you still uh, that allow you to use your maneuverability to its maximum effect. Well, I can't say no to that. If I do that, though, it takes a bit of concentration. I won't be able to apply the usual ability I have been. The the flames, I say, looking like knowingly to Riel, that kind of guide our blade, I won't be able to do that as well. Can you make the decision Actually, in a moment? Oh wait, no, never mind. That's we not don't true. Know how large I take that back. I can't. I can do that. Okay. Uh, what, what I meant, my, what, I, not the freedom of the movement part, the heroism part, is where I can't do. So it's like mm. if I if I bold in our hearts, I cannot uh, uh, show the weaknesses of our foe. Mm. Mm. Well, I think it is more important for us to be defensive at our magic. Keep, keep our presence of mind then. Than our the keep our aim true. Mm -hmm. And in general, I believe the last time we defeated well this dragon, we all shared a drink. I believe it's only right we share one now. As he looks to you in your bag, because you had the whiskey last time. Mm. Like a sloshing noise. Yeah. 
there's not much left, so don't be too liberal. <laughs> and I pass it to Devi next. Keep in mind that he's a spellcaster. We can outlast him. I, I nod. I handed you the flask. I take the flask. Okay. I take a of it and I'll pass it. I'll have to polishes it. She polishes it off. <laughs> no. Riel's look is solemn for a moment, do it. then do it. takes do swig it. silently and passes it to Mikael. Mikael takes the last few drops, closes it, hands it back to the general. Well, whether we succeed or we fail, I'm glad to be doing this with you lot. We fight for the empire and the glory of Pyth. Even if we should fall in this, our endeavors are not in vain, for we bring we bring humanity closer to its promised future. Mm. And this can be interesting. <laughs> All right, you press. Hey, we're gonna we're gonna head up. We're gonna start walking forward. Okay, so as you uh, start walking up the stairwell, the stairwells that uh, leave the dragon's chamber are ornate. They're brilliant. They're actually like a lot of places here. It's it's very high quality craftsmanship. Uh, if it wasn't for the general, the, if it wasn't for the sterileness of everything else, this would be a very welcoming place. Uh, even if you were, if you were able to sort of overlook some of the the, the morbid uh, facsimiles that the statues make up, um, going up into the stairwell, I travel up like many of them before. Uh, it is completely pitch black in this stairwell, uh, despite uh, empty. Uh, braziers and sconces on the walls that have rooms for torches and even some have torches that appear to have burnt out. Uh, only those with vision who can see in the darkness such as uh, General and uh, Devi with her goggles uh, can travel, though I imagine Mikhail makes a small flame to, to travel by. Um, mm -hmm. As you walk you walk for about the sort of five minutes that you've become accustomed to as you walk around the, the, the tower's outer stairwells. The, the stairwells are in the outer wall of the tower, so you have to go around the whole thing. So it, it makes sense that it takes little time, as also considering the floors are usually around 40 feet up. But it starts to take a little a little longer than before, and you, you do all acknowledge it, even if you don't necessarily question it. When you do question it is when a phrase uh, in uh, uh, the language uh, of Infernal Appears on the walls. It would actually be umbral, but if anyone speaks uh, infernal, they'd be able to read it. Or a bit. Mm. Uh, no. <laughs> nope. I got celestial. I oh, wait, got yes, yes. Sorry, yes, yes. I have. Bam! Yes. Oh. Ah. So after a while of looking over these uh, runes in the wall, and they're very brilliantly. Uh, put into the artwork of the wall in general. And the artwork on the wall is, like many of the other things, this this almost cascading flow of skeletons, where it almost looks like uh, water with them, them moving along themselves. Uh, the, the, the message on the wall says that darkness reveals an end. I will say loud, <laughs> says darkness reveal and it reveals an end. And then using like press digitation, I make like a small little globe of darkness like looking knowingly at the others, like because of the spell that I have, and I go, "Do you think it's that easy?" <laughs> go for it. I, I, Why not? I, well, I um, I, I using just the prestidigitation, not mm -hmm. wasting a second level spell with concentration on it. I make like a small little globe of darkness, and I kind of like so it's like an orb in my yeah, hand, yeah. and I like press the orb, so it almost like squishes like a spread out piece yeah. to like a play-doh on the. <laughs> Nothing appears to happen, although okay. you you will say it's almost like these runes are easier to read when they're immersed in darkness. Hmm. Do I see any more sense. definition? I'm going to roll an investigation, see if I see anything else. It's definitely more it. defined, but it's still, it's one of those things where the, 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 the general sort of, the runes are still, were still just as clear, but sort of the definition in the actual craftsmanship is, is much clearer. Some more details have been placed in the, uh, in the, uh, inside the runes themselves. Looking at it in greater detail, you don't see it, though of course this rune is sort of inset in the artwork of the wall quite uh, brilliantly. Mm. Are we emitting any light? Like via Mikhail torches? is. Mikhail, can you turn that off? 
and I snuff out any flame. Mm-hmm. Well, before he does so, I'm like, oh, because you say that and you go to like do the emotion. I'm like, hold on. And this is when I'll, I'll say that him that I referred to before, because obviously I haven't cast a one minute spell too early. And this is when I'll cast my heroism. So, mm-hmm. okay. I'll also have um, Master Digitation and Mei Chan recast as well. Mm-hmm. Okay. You turn off the light, nothing happens. Hmm. Okay. Two of you can't see. You, and I will say, this isn't the end of the stairwell. I said, the stairs oh. still go, keep going. Huh? This is on this oh. is on a side wall. Oh, I can I can jog up the stairs. Up the stairs, I would yeah, I would resume the flame and say, yeah. look at Debbie, and just be like, light snuffs out darkness. Yeah, I get that. But I just want to see so what I, happens. Okay, and I go running, yeah, running up the stairs. Running up the stairs. <laughs> Running up the stairs. I let him run up the stairs, and I love yeah. him back. Uh, as you continue jo- to jo- move, jogging up the stairs, like a like a heavy jog. Yeah, it's like, yeah. like you get pumped. You're like, Ultimately, there's let's only, do this. There's only really ah. one way you can run up the stairs, and it's always a sort of like. <laughs> um, now, do you like that? You take two steps, two stairs. At I a loop. Time. That's I true. I often loop up loop, the stairs. Looping, looping is yeah. kind of cheating, and also there's a high risk of self damage. <laughs> but maybe, I also maybe, loop. Maybe for you, Ollie. <laughs> <laughs> well, definitely for me. Um, That's just how Eric walks upstairs normally. Oh he's God! He's got such long legs. legs. He's, like, he's like two or three. And <laughs> <laughs> Eric actually can normally do three stairs. For me, that's yeah. like a stretch. It's like a. Yeah. I can do that. Yeah. Do that. He just does three. Mm-hmm. So you I'm travel giant. further up. You travel again. Give me. Actually, I don't even need to give perception checks because Derek's passive perception is a nineteen. Nineteen. You start to notice, not immediately, that the and and it, and it takes a little time to notice that actually the pattern on the walls is repeating. Mm. Of course, it, you could. Everyone else would probably think that all the ste- skeletons are the same because they look very similar. But he notices very small differences. Uh, the skeletons, some of them are meant to look like previous fought enemies, some such. Uh, so we have dark vision. Does it look like the end of the staircase is getting any closer? No, you. It's one. It's, it's a curve. <laughs> So it never oh, okay. looks closer. It always you always see into darkness. Until we figure this out. And I will say that out loud to like the party. Like I wonder if this is like like a magic thing. Does not seem unreasonable. Hmm. And then if you travel for another couple of minutes, you see again the rune on the wall that General can read is darkness reveals an end. Are we So maybe we turn no off the flame? And the light, and just travel through the darkness for a little bit. Maybe it'll stop looping. <sighs> Let's out a sigh. Looks at Riel. I mean, if you have a better idea, we I'll, can do just, that I'll just shrug and be like, "Debbie does often know what she's talking about with these sorts of things." <sighs> That's right. I was thinking it was a trick, but maybe instead of doing that, maybe turning off the light, and only one or two of us continuing the steps so the others aren't struggling and falling, though it would be splitting us. The danger of that is if this is some sort of looping staircase, if it's, I don't know how it would work, but if if it somehow prevents us from all arriving, if, if, if two of us go forward- Yeah, that's a terrible idea. If two of us go forward and end up in the room with the abomination, how then the other two might not be able to get there or there's any manner of things that could go wrong with that i mean i am not an expert in magic but it seems like um a too big a risk to take i i, I understand what you're saying it's a similar to could, similar to the concern that i had when we were leaving that room before mm-hmm. all right well i'll, I'll, I'll like, look re- yeah i'll just like reach out to general and say lead the way and i snuff out the light yeah, I, I've put a hand on Debbie's shoulder, and... And you keep walking up? Oh no. From Mikhail, because like, I'm like... Because yeah. I'm actually so much shorter than from two steps ahead. Like, as you, yeah. It's easy. And I'm just touching you, and you're just walking up, and I'm like, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. And you continue walking. Yeah. Okay. And again, after around five-ish minutes, generally you start to notice it looping again. Do you continue walking after you notice it looping again? Um, I, I will, does it only loop once? 
it, 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 so basically you are now starting to realize, and it might not be the start of a loop, but just a place where it loops, like a particular, like, yep. one of the decorations on the walls. Yep. And this is before the runes. Uh, you could keep going to the runes if you, if you so I, I, I would, I would do three full loops before I, before one I... Thing I want to do as well, I want to feel along the wall as we go, like looking for like any of the hidden things, and I will actually use a mage hand as well to like feel along the yeah, ceiling, yeah. or the opposite wall. You give me a perception check. General also give me a perception check. Is that nice? Oh, no, that's spooky. It might have been like someone yelled outside. That was, that was a dog. ghost. <laughs> it's quite relevant. Um, it's one of those things where you don't notice any uh, uh, panels in the walls or anything that can be pushed. Devi is a specialist at finding secret rooms and all those sorts of things. You are certain if there was to be one, you wouldn't uh, feel it. But you do check the ceiling as well, because there's previously been mechanisms uh, fixed in the ceiling. You do notice that a lot of these... Um, uh, sconces on the walls look like they've never been lit. One or two of them, when you when you go through the loop, look like they've been lit before, but then someone like put a torch in them, uh, or put a lit torch there and it's just burnt out. Most of them mm. have never been lit; they're just there for decoration's sake. Um, and uh, it's you that realizes when you actually put your hand over the uh, uh, rune when you're sort of traveling past, just sort of hand against the wall, brushing past it. But you realize there's something there. You point it out to General, and he sort of can. can uh, brush away a little bit of an, an illusion uh, that is only revealed in the dark, in the true darkness, uh, with your fingers. And the the rune that it says, which I'll say, even though your eyes, the runekeeper, is eyes, it's more an eldritch knowledge thing. Uh, mm -hmm. The first word is true, so it's true darkness reveals an end. Mm. And you can only feel that rune; you can't see it at all, even with your your dark vision. So like I'll actually just like grab like stop very suddenly, bumping it everywhere behind me. I imagine, like yeah. grab General's hand and like run it over the room. Yeah, and he can translate it. Okay, so I I do so. Translate. True darkness. Do we need magical darkness? <sighs> I can produce magical darkness, but there was a trick I had up my sleeve this entire while, and I've been trying to save it in case we needed it. I have the ability to also produce magical silence, something that we could have used against the Lich. Should I produce the darkness now, I'll lose the ability to do that in the future. And I understand I might be able to consume greater magics to be able to do that anyways, alas, because we've wasted so much time. The spell to protect our hearts has also faded, and I must use my last of that ability to make that happen again. I can make the, I can strengthen our hearts again, and I can make the magical darkness but I won't be able to produce the silence if and when we need it. I'm, I'm uh, tapping out the energies that I can produce. Are we willing to make this, this gamble now? We probably have to, no? Well, I suppose we can always uh, relax in a, in, a, in a nice spa and kick our feet up and I can summon a few unseen <laughs> servants. Right, a few unseen servants to rustle out those knots in your in your shoulders. No, no, anybody? Didn't think so. And so you know, kind of crafting and pull I mean, that I small that. orb that I had before, and then into to a complete darkness where even, but but oddly enough, you can still see. No, oh, I can. Yeah, <laughs> Devi is now plunged into to darkness even with the goggles. Yep. But generally, you can still see. Mm -hmm. And you start to to travel. Mm -hmm. Now the darkness is a uh, the old school was a point in space or an object that I could put it on. Is that still the case? Uh, you point, I think it's just you choose a point it on an op if you choose an object. Oh, yeah. Yep, cool. Awesome. So you know what I'm going to do is uh, to be playful, and because you can't see anyways, I'm going to choose Mikhail's. Oh, he always puts light on, and then bing right on oh, there. He just carries light in his hands. Oh, I thought he just uh, puts on his sword has, like, or something. Control flame, I think. Oh. Well, he also does light with with light, the spell. Um, I think he put like light on one of um, Riel's things, didn't he? Riel's sword, yeah. Yeah, you can put on sword. But you just put it on anything on your party. That you sounds it. dangerous. That does put to <laughs> dangerous. I'll, I'll just put it on my sword. It's one thing to fuck up the sorcerer. I'll put it on my sword. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm not sure she would appreciate that. <laughs> so, I'll, sorry, I'll put it on my dagger, my because I can always throw it. Put it on my dagger. Ooh. So you, Sorry, 
last thought. Yeah. I'm actually going to put it on a, on a stone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Even better. Um, <laughs> and that's also pretty useful for some other stuff. So you, you start moonwalking with that, where now General has to lead everyone. Uh, but ultimately, you've traveled up this staircase like three or four times now. It's, it's a slight curve to the left, but ultimately a staircase. You have no trouble. Devi probably hell, hell, runs her hand against the wall still. Mm. My, my preference would be my hand is reached out, guiding Riel, whose hand is reached out, guiding her sister, whose hand is reached out, touching the wall, who has uh, Mikhail hand on the shoulder. To... Yeah, that makes sense. Um, and you can guide everyone, because you can still see through this magical darkness that you've crafted yourself. Quite a nifty little trick that served you very well. And you notice it starts loop again. Try closing your eyes, if it's true darkness. Maybe you being able to see still is preventing it. Or we could try something else. I don't have any other ideas. We can try that in case it's referring to sight as opposed to darkness. Mm -hmm. But I'm actually going to turn back and look at all of them to realize they're blinkingly and not looking back at me. Yeah. And be like, <laughs> and be like uh, unless, of course, by true darkness, they're not referring to light or sight, but instead true darkness that which is what creates let's just hope it's referring to my sight i'll take a deep breath i'll close my eyes and fall and break my teeth we can always <laughs> we can always kill mikhail it's fine we can sacrifice him true darkness <laughs> and why don't we take a little quick little break before our last little hour of the session I got those spells! An arrow walking up a staircase. Uh, after I cast that one spell, I'm gonna have three first level spells left. That's it. Oh, we'll be back in a sec. <laughs> 